welcome again to my webinar for everybody who uh, just log in. Again, my name is Andreas Kazmierczak and the subject of our webinar today are 3D constructions using a 3D modeling, ACES modeling and using um, ADT or ASO. AAC modeling like here. So what we are doing here, we will construct here in our webinar today this wrench from scratch and later we will uh, construct uh, this, um, this uh, architectural, architectural construction here but we will using here this PDF file as basis for it okay so that we import the PDF, convert a PDF into the this uh, this drawing. Put here Windows and Wind, and here I will show you how you can render it, how you can uh, assign here the materials so that you can so that we can make this kind of uh, beautiful branch. Okay, everything from scratch. Very interesting subject, and I have only only 45 minutes for both subjects. Can you imagine this is about 20 minutes per uh, construction. So like we have 20 minutes for this branch, 20 minutes for this architectural drawing. Yeah, we, we can do it. I will show you how it works, okay? Okay, let me start with this branch and with 3D solid construction. I'm open, I open here a new drawing, or maybe. Uh, so, and first thing you have to know is that this program what I'm show, showing now here is our product with the name let me go here on back to cat.com with the name cat direct if you go here on cat direct you see we have two versions we have this pro version and this pro version offer you also the you can see here the modeling, um, not the AAC modeling, okay, not IFC beam with import export, but also the modeling um, based on ACES from Dassault system. What is ACES? Ah, do you know, know believe me, but this this uh, this ACES um, deviation is simple from the uh, first names of the. Um, of the of, uh, of the founders of this um, of this model, like that, so Anthony, Chris, Ian, uh, Ivan, uh, something like this, and then uh, this company Dassault System bought this um, modeling, and now this modeling you will find in a lot of CAD systems, like in our CAD Direct, like in BrisCAD, like in uh, uh, ActCAD, like in ZVCAD, but you will find it auto, also in AutoCAD and also in Inventor. So like this 3D modeling uh, base of ACES is not a product from Autodesk, it's not a product from our company. This is a license from Dassault system and you see Dassault systems produce, for example, the SOLIDWORKS and et cetera, yeah? And what you see here under Draw 3D here, draw 3D solids and solid edit. This is what we are using today because this is something uh, for mechanical constructions and here this everything is based on the ACES. And very important thing, if you make any construction here, you can export this construction uh, using so, uh, output, using step or using IGs but you can also sample using ACES or simple using DWG because uh, ACES construction is a part of DWG. Then you can import it to Revit. You can also, to, sorry, to Revit, to in, for example, to Inventor or to AutoCAD, or you can also get over the step construction from Inventor from AutoCAD in UC and CAD Direct. The only one big difference is between these um, two systems is that you pay for our um, full ACES compatible uh, system uh, as perpetual license as perpetual license $499. So this is you, you ask me now how we can make this price. Yeah we can make this price only because in Tele we develop the software in a group in IntelliTech consortium like we share together the um, um share together the developers 
and everybody who is in IntelliCAD consortium can use it for own CAD system. So, but uh, so this is only so short, uh, um, uh, short introduction. Uh, so that what you see here, this construction is the same kind of construction uh, what you will find in uh, so very expensive so software like SolidWorks, like Inventor, like AutoCAD, okay? Because the base of it, the background, is the same. These are the libraries for Dassault systems, okay? So let me start with this construction from scratch, okay? So look on this um, dimensions. This is a simple branch. I will using for this branch here millimeters because the construction is more easy for me when using millimeters. Later, if I will construct this house here, I will using you know, inches and feet. Okay. So how we how we start the construction? Let me go here on drawing. Here, first, what you have to do, you have to switch the correct unit. Okay. Here. For example, at AI tools, you will can find the unit. You can simply, oh, sorry, so here, set units. Or you write a simple over the command units. This is a command units. And you see, first is what you use decimal, but we use millimeters. Okay. Okay. For IAC, I'm using inches. Okay. Simply, you can use the, uh, the command units. You will get here this interface. Okay. So we produce this branch from scratch. So, and first, you a base of every 3D construction is first a very good uh, two dimensional construction. So, it's very first done. Let me go here on circle. I no circle, let me put here 100, 100, and here. Okay, and the silicon radius will make 10. Okay, so this is the head of our branch. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is next circle in the center of it. Now this and the will be with eight millimeter. Oh, sorry, not L millimeter. Found not right. Let me check it. Circle radius. Then I have started from again. So circle, okay, and radius is 10. So now next circle, what is this circle? And now the radius will be four. Okay, sorry, this one's have to be 10. I have here by some small sketch of it, so I can, you see, this is some, some sketch, I can, I'm looking at the sketch, I'm doing it, it's like radius, and here, that have B5. So now, I'm doing here, one quarter, so I'm going here on the home, so, and here on snapping. Okay, down. So I need now the quarters of this, um, of this construction here. I take the snap here and make con FH. Next, I put line. Oh God, here. So I'm going here on edit and trim it. Um, the trim. So I will trim this one. Trim this one. Okay. So I'm here not really. They have here some unusual mouse. Okay. Now what I'm doing is here uh, make the handle of the French. Okay, this the first I make a line from the center, or maybe for the quarter. And this will be now uh, H hundred. Oh god, this, this was a wrong. 
line 80. So this was the the, um, the center. Now uh, I'm going here on the edit um, edit and uh, make offset. This was five millimeter, five millimeter on this side and half millimeter on this side. Okay. So now I will go in here on um, edit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, then so I'll go here on rotate. Okay, going to extend. And here. Now I'm going here on the, to make this construction ready. I'm going here on draw, so on edit, rotate. Page, this everything center. center of this circle, and I will rotate it 45 degree. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I will mirror it. So this one we think here for middle. Okay. And now, so now I will rotate it here. This everything here. So we sent them. No. Rotate this everything centrum I will see we go here draw we find center so on so okay again rotate this everything here Oh, I write on German centrum. Sorry, this is the problem. Oh my God! <laughs> you see, I, I'm working a lot of with uh, German uh, cat, and this is the problem here. Okay, you have to do it again. Rotate. This is everything. Centrum. I can't snap here the centrum. What's going on here? Okay, then mirror, it's simple, mirror. Okay, this everything here. So this, and yes, delete, okay. So now I will delete this one, okay, okay. So this is my 2D construction of this bench. And now the next step, if you want, um, if you want to make a 3D construction for it, because you see this is still on the view, this is a, a simple 2D construction, is it? Okay. There are a lot of ways to do it. You have to extrude this uh, this construction into 3D. Uh, the best possibility to extrude extract something uh, using uh, ACES is first to create here um, the elements. Um, um, the, the regions. So I'm going here on again here on uh, so connected so they have here so because I want to show you how we can unify the regions okay and look now we have here uh, let me produce one two and three regions because we will extrude this regions eight millimeter this region two millimeter and this region eight millimeter okay so first what I'm doing here I'm going on the command region um, region, uh, select the entities, okay, mm -hmm. and it's done. So next region, select entities, and done. And next region, select entities, 
done. Cool. So what I'm doing now, I will uh, create on the layer, new layer, uh, so with the name, new layer, with the name 3D construction. A 3D construction. Okay. And assign to this layer the color yellow. Okay, so we can see it better. And now what I'm doing here, simple, I move the regions here, the 2D construction. Okay, so then you can see it better. So now I will extrude the parts into 3D solids. Very easy uh, thing. But then I will go in here on view, a 3D orbit. Okay, so that we can see it better. Maybe in this position, you can see here, and uh, the view of it. Okay, and let me start it. On the draw 3D, and you can see here, I can see a lot of solid editing. And here you can also creation of solids. And one of it is, for example, here extrude. You can see it? Okay, extrude. Oh, I want to show it. This is what, as again, we ask, what is it? Properties. You see, this is a, a entity region. And now we'll extrude this region into the 3D solid. Extrude this and eight millimeters. Okay. Now again, extrude this one. This will extrude two millimeters. So it is not H, we have to extrude it. Uh, this is too much, six millimeters. Let me go back. So extrude. I was looking now here on my sketch. Six millimeters. And here we extrude this one, extrude two millimeters. And this one, extrude six millimeters. Okay. Now I have to move this one two millimeter up, so that is in the in the middle of it. Simple, that's very easy. Go and move and click on it. And now relative 0 0.0.2 .0 and is in the middle. OK, so now what I'm doing, I will unify now this because what you see, this is now um, the properties. Now this entity is solid, 3D solid. Of course, you can if you want, um, you can um, and now go here on view and also and there's a very something very important here look i have here a lot of different views you can see it if you install this program you will get only uh, less views why because the program in standard settings if you go here on op options we deliver this program a standard setting as uh, OpenGL, not OpenGL ES. Why? Because OpenGL is very fast for vector rendering. So if you make a vector construction, what is normal, normally 90% uh, of work in, in the case of our software, um, please use every time this OpenGL. If you need a good rendering or you start to deconstruction like me, go here on OpenGL AS and switch on here the smooth thing from 3D views. Okay, very important thing. Again, go here on options and here on the graphic performance, switch to OpenGS. Now you will get if you if you are working in open uh, open graphic uh, graphic language AS, now we can uh, render it very fast here in very in very so in different um, so uh, very fast. Let's, let me change here the color and we we'll change the layer. Uh, let me go here on edit home because the layer uh, was let me go here. Okay, and we change the layer to the two D construction. Okay, good. So next step, what is, I will unify now this 3D solid and this 3D solid so that we have one branch. Uh, we will go now here on draw 2D, union from this and this and this solid, enter. Now you can see we have everything so unified and here the ACES found immediately this um, beautiful 
this edge. Okay, if you go here now on uh, view, and you go, for example, on view on the conceptual, oh, okay, to div, okay, we'll conceptual. No, oh, we go here to the wireframe. You can see there was a view, beautiful edge. Okay, so but now it's looking not really realistic. You can see why? Because the edges are really sharp. This not is what is realistic in an branch. Branch has no never this this sharp of edges. What I am doing it here? I will go here now on shaded with edges so that I can do it better. And go here on this construction. And I'm going here now on draw 3D. Fillet edges, okay, and I will choose now this edge and this edge. Enter radius one millimeter, and you see the ace is beautiful. Fillet this edge. This is a beautiful function, and here I'm going now here and we'll fillet this edge. Do you know I'm going here now on another view? It's more easy to fillet it. View, I'm going now on to the wireframe because then I can choose this edge too, okay? So and now I'm going on the draw 3D, fillet edges, this, 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 and this, enter, radius, 0 0.5, enter, and done. And the same radius I will be losing here for this edge here. Okay, I'm going now on fillet, this edge and this edge, radius. Okay, looks more more better, yeah? Okay, the same I'll be doing now here on this side. Okay, then I'm going first on fillet, on this and this, natural, not fillet, so, Okay, enter radius. Okay, and again here, this edge and this edge. Radius one, enter done. Moment here. Okay, so now you do looks more, more, more realistic. Okay, and let me uh, so render it on the view and realistic. And you see, we have now a beautiful wrench. Okay, you can see, you can use this one too here if we want. You can see a little bit better. Beautiful construction. Okay, so now uh, we want to render it. So, um, if you want to render it, you have to uh, uh, to assign materials to uh, this branch. So the rendering of the branch, you will find it on the visualizing. So you can see you can render it, okay? But what we are doing, we assign the materials. Let me go on materials, okay? Well, we will assign them to the layer, the material, okay? So let me go on the 3D construction, select, and here to this 3D construction, I will assign here a metal, let me, Ach, the scrum bright, uh, so medium chrome. Also, this is a chrome branch, okay? And, okay, and so, and now we go here, close, and now we go here on render, and you see now we have this chrome. So, what I can do now, I can go here on also on materials. Um, again, go on layer. Oh, I'm going here, select. Mm. And you can change the layer, the materials here. Let me try it with another metal, maybe with uh, brass. Okay. Close. And here we go on render. Now we have the brass. I will check the change now the background here. Let me go here on background. This is render settings, and you see in background, you can render the background. And here, let me assign uh, to the, oh, maybe scout, sky, uh, sky, yeah, we assigned here, maybe um, a wood, 
Okay, wood. Uh, um, dark wood, like black art. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, this looks maybe not good on the on. Ah, let me do it. Okay, and render. Now we have range on black arc. So how we're doing it? You can go now here. Of course, here on view, you can put here the range in every position. Go here on visualize and render it how you want. So this is how our 3D solid modeling is working. You know, look here is um, is very very interesting. Also again, so if you start, if you download, for example, our test version, okay, you can do it, this everything with our test version too. First step, what I'm doing, go here, options, and switch the graphic performance to OpenGL as if you want to render something. Okay, because they will get better quality. Okay, then make the construction from scratch, as uh, so I'll make a very good 2D construction, change the 2D construction into the region, and then go here on draw 3D and extract this region into the solids. Now, if you want, you can save it, save it as. Um, let me make range one. Mm -hmm. Range one, this is our range one now, okay. And what you can do now, now you can go here on export. This is the output. And export is as step, IFC, OBJ, IGs, ACs, and you can work with it in any other 3D two-dimensional program. And you have to know that the professional 2D programs, you pay maybe $10,000 or $5,000 a year or, or more, but maybe for AutoCAD, $3,000 a year. Here, it is perpetualized for $199. This is a big difference. But what we can do here? We have something very interesting. Here on the, on the Back to CAD AI tools, you will find here our 3D PDF export. We put here on the AI PDF tools and look on the 3D AI tools. You will get this this conversion software. You have to save this drawing. Okay. Then you go here, uh, take this drawing from the from the from hard drive. And here we can produce a beautiful 3D PDF. See. Under the layout, you can decide, for example, oh, let me make here on this background the branch, okay? And let me make some animated view, okay? And start the conversion. And PDF is ready. View the file. And you see the program. Mm, ah, this is okay. So the problem is here, I have to trust the document first. So now, this is on the security. Okay, I have to do it again because um, I have to trust it again. View file. Okay, now I trust it. You see, this is our branch here. But here you can put a lot of text, your description here. And but, and here I'll show you where you can put this text. Okay. Here the PDF layout, you can put every kind of text. Okay. And your, your logo, auto copyright URL. And what I'm going here to animated view. This is very interesting. Okay, start conversion. View file. And you see, you have now the animated view of it. But what I'm doing here, going to another one. Um, let me go here to PDF layout to this. A mechanical view with mechanical views. Okay, start conversion. Okay, you see this a PDF file, and you can see you have, can you can see this part beautiful. But in this case here by um, PDF you can't um, assign any materials to this. Um, to the branch, 
you can see this only in the colors. This is something what because it's um, uh, what uh, PDF 2D PDF still don't offer. But this is fine. You can see now we can see this model very well. Okay. So this is everything what I wanted to show you better regarding 3D modeling. Now we go to the next task. Okay. This is this AAC modeling. Okay. This um, let me close this branch. Now we will try to construct this kind of house. Okay. <clears throat> 